So this question says that the number of pathways from A to B, if the paths always move closer to B, is. Okay, well to go from A to B, I have to go through point C. Now what this means is, any path that I complete from A to B has got to go from A to C and C to B. And remember that the word and implies multiplication. So like right here when I see these two options here have addition in them, yeah, it's not going to be either one of those. So now let's take a quick look here. Okay, to go from A to C, I would have to go east, 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 south, south, south. So I've got six different paths to follow, three of which are east, three of which are south. So that would be six factorial, okay, over three factorial, three factorial. <coughs> to go from C to B, I would have to go east, east, and then south, south. So that's four different blocks that I got to pass over, two of which are going east, two of which are going south. It doesn't matter, you can interchange those and no one would ever know the difference. And so there's our overall result here and when you compare those to the options that were given, the answer has to be B.